especially this story, this particular example, mm. he knew she was cooking dinner. Mm-hmm. Right. And he's, and he's like, cool, I'm just going to go do a little tick plop and yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah. So it, there's, there's two issues here. Either A, he just completely ignored it, or B, he gets lost in the talk. Yeah, yeah. And so he needs you knocking mm. on that door saying, get out. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise he gets lost. Clearly. I don't think it's... it's but all, I don't, but it's, I think it's her fault. It's almost no. like the question last week about being woken up for something important. It's pretty yeah. much the same thing. But this yeah. guy is just like, he's mindlessly going through TikTok. Yeah. And he can do it after. Like, you can just go bang, I can eat my food, and then mm-hmm. you can do it, like, your yeah. social media after yeah. as well. Like, it's not something that needs to be done then and there. Yeah. That's the thing. Plus, he has, like, he has children. Yeah. Like... The wife has children to look after. Yeah. She doesn't need a third grown yep. child, child that she has yeah. to get down to. Yeah. Like, hey, dinner's ready, darling. He's, 14. And- He's 40, not 14, by the way. Exactly. Yeah. Clarified, so. Yeah. Hey, I Tom, guess- uh, sorry, yeah. as we, Marcus gives us his closing statements, yes. uh-huh. can you go to your, do you know that Apple tells you how long you've spent on an app this week? Yep. Could you tell us how long you've spent on TikTok? I will. So All you're right. not under investigation here. I'm just curious. Scroll. Marcus, please, your so, closing so statement. My, my, my final statement on this. <laughs> <laughs> now, I feel like, all right. You need to help. It seems like it sounds like he's got a bit of an addiction. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it. You need to help him. If you want more out of him, blaming him, telling him to get better won't probably fix it. But you need to help him get it. So maybe it's, hey, talk to him about it. Let's put a timer inside the toilet. Like maybe like a... (laughs) Maybe like a, you put a like a shot clock. No, no, yeah. no, no, not a shot clock, but necessarily, you know, those like Scrabble, like the hourglasses, they you go for two minutes. Hang on, <laughs> wow. hourglasses are not from Scrabble. No, not no, 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 no. But the Scrabble hourglass, yeah, yeah like a little, little mini, 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 mini hourglass. I'm saying like you know they, they invented, they invented <laughs> the hourglass. Yeah, no, 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 no. Scrabble. Didn't Milton know. Bradley invented. Everybody <laughs> knows days of our lives invented the hourglass, Marcus. Before you start, you know, giving yeah. this yeah. propaganda Stand through the hourglass. Yeah, class. exactly. But that, I reckon you say, look, let's do this so you don't spend too long on the toilet. Do it two times that or three is, times. I agree with you, but that is ridiculous that it has to get to that. Well, if he's stuck on the toilet for two hours, clearly he's not paying attention. Do you know what she maybe needs to do as well? Make a TikTok account. Yeah. Make a video of her holding her, his children saying, me and your children, we miss you. Yeah. If he's swiping for two hours, he'll, he'll get to that video yeah, eventually. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I found it. <laughs> Dinner um, is ready. Come downstairs. <laughs> so I will say, let's just go by. This is from the last couple of weeks. I've mm-hmm. dropped off my TikTok use. Uh, so this is from the from the 25th of April, the week off, 25th. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, two hours and 30 minutes in a week of TikTok. Okay, that's okay. not too bad. The next week was two hours and 21 minutes. Then I dropped down to 123. This week... 50 minutes. Wow. So I'm actually weaning off TikTok. Maybe, but, but you know what? The week's not over yet. Maybe you do an hour session today. Oh, this is where I do my most of my talking is <laughs> yeah. on the weekends. You know? We've got two more days, boys. <laughs> yeah, I'm bringing those numbers around. where you do your best yeah. work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, exactly. I mean, look, I'm, I'm, I, I sort of flick through Twitter and stuff and, so, and like Safari was up there as well. So if I'm like, I don't know, doing a bit of Oz bargain and stuff like that, yeah. you know, it happens. So, yeah. But look, there's there's nothing wrong with having a bit of downtime, but I think this no. guy's doing a little bit too much at the detriment of his family time. Mm. And obviously, you know, he's not helping out with anything else. And he's got that expectation. He's mad because he's like not being brought out of the bathroom. It's like, yeah. Yeah. you can do it yourself, Lava. <laughs> yeah. You get off your, your, you your lazy you, ass. You don't, do need, you don't need someone telling you, hey, you spent too long on the toilet. You should be able to know and keep track of where you're at. Yeah. yeah. I think. You're a 40 year old man. He's, yeah. he's gone to the toilet his whole life. I'm pretty sure he can figure well, it out. Lava's the wife. What should the Lava do then? Uh, I mean, Marcus said the shot clock in the toilet, which I I mean, that could work. But given how like angry the dad was about this, like he doesn't think he's in the wrong for spending two hours and, you know, neglecting his roles as a father, his duties as a father. Well, he needs to learn it. I mean, Tom, you're the dad here. Yeah. What would you, what would you, if your wife was doing this, why would you fix the situation? (laughs) Look, it's, I mean, it's, it's fine (laughs) for me because it's like, obviously I'll, there is stuff to do either way. And I think yeah. everyone needs their downtime. I think everyone needs to have a bit of a, you know, time for themselves. And if that's what the re- relief that they need, I would, you know, welcome that. I think it's good to sort of, I don't know, you don't want to be the nagging person to be like, what are you doing? Do this, come do this, come do this. You want to have that little bit of freedom, but mm-hmm. you also, there's a limit to that. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a, de- it's a delicate balance act. I don't know if I could specifically say, depends on how long it would be before I'm just like, all right, it's enough of the talk. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But I think it's like you should be able to like, this guy needs to pull his weight basically is he what does. I think. He mm-hmm. does. All right. Well, let's leave that's it there a, for That's enough talk about the TikTok. Enough it's about that. TikTok. About la- the TikTok. TikTok. Who wants to go next, Marcus? Okay. I'll go next. I'll go next. All right. What do you got All right, for so us? So this one is going to come from Killer Bees. The Bees. The Bees. And, and so to sort of preface it, I remember watching a movie as like a four or five year old. 
think it was called My Girl. Yeah. Where oh, Macaulay Culkin no. got killed by bees or what? Spoilers, Marcus. Whoa. Well, that movie is like 20 years old. It's a jo- I was joking. Yeah. All right. Anyway. And I thought to myself, fuck, <laughs> bees are dangerous yeah. things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was very scared of bees. Yeah. And I thought they were everywhere. So every time I saw a bear, I thought it was going to kill me. Turns out, no, they're not going to kill you no, unless you're allergic. They're working as well. They're just like, dude, I'm bees like, I've got nine to five. Yeah. If only the, the wet bandits from Home Alone knew, knew that bees would have killed Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, yeah right. Because he took yeah. them down over and over. He was yeah. allergic. They didn't need paint cans. They just needed a bee. <laughs> there was this movie. I don't know if you guys had seen it. It was a daytime movie where I remember this is the scene. This is the setup for the movie. Some kids are on like a dirt bike and they go to like this forest where there's all these beehives and they have like a shotgun or something like that. And they shoot all the beehives. They go bang 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 and then they jet off on this on their bike and the bees basically chase them into like they go to their house they lock the door and then the bees are basically like mm-hmm. covered the house and they're stuck in this house covered in bees <laughs> i have never i've never been able to find what the movie is no, no. never seen that know, it was just the dream the, maybe if somebody or it's my girl two judgment day <laughs> <laughs> if one of our listeners know what this movie is, please, please let me know if it, if it exists. There was a house that's covered in bees and the people are stuck in the house because these kids shot the beehives. My memory of My Girl is how Macaulay Culkin dies is similar to like a war movie, like same Private Ryan when someone gets shot like a million times. Yeah. Right? That's how he dies. <laughs> it's like, bees. Bl- like Platoon. He falls yeah. down to his knees and then... Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like when Snake dies in, um, what's it called? Metal Gear Solid. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Echoes. Exactly. Macaulay? Macaulay? Macaulay! Macaulay! I do enjoy, Tom, that everybody has a memory of a daytime movie. (laughs) And you remember one part and nobody else knows what you're talking about and you cannot find it online. Nope. Everybody has a movie like that. Mm Go on, Marcus. All right, so Killer Bees writes in, if a neighbor walks onto your property and takes a free newspaper from your house, is that stealing? A free newspaper is delivered to every house every week. Sometimes I don't retrieve the paper that's delivered on my driveway or lawn right away. It's my property, and if the paper is outside on my yard, that's nobody else's business, right? My next door neighbor walks right into my property and takes my paper every week. I've seen him do it, and I didn't want to go out there and confront him since he starts bringing up all kinds of stuff from the past. Is taking a free newspaper that's delivered to my property considered stealing? I'm not going to call the cops about a free paper, though, but I'm just wondering (laughs) if it is theft. Why would he take my paper when he gets his own? <laughs> the only thing I can think of is that he wants store coupons. Oh. Killer bees. Oh. I took my language. Took my language. I like the coupons. <laughs> See, <laughs> that wasn't my thought. I was like, oh, maybe he's like house training a puppy. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, in newspapers, like, if you've got to pay for it, you may as well. Yeah, get know, the free one. Get the free ones. Well, I, don't, I know. The coupons I remember, make more sense. Coupons make sense. But <sighs> I remember like moving, for example, I yep. would always need like newspapers. Like, just, you know, to cover for the paper. Or well, fine china that you have. Yeah, exactly. That Play a fine china. <laughs> yeah. But um, that's what I would think about newspaper taking free paper. But yeah, yeah you're right. Coupons. Or paper mache. Yes. Um, <laughs> Tom's a big paper mache. Uh, yeah, for sure. I Look, this is inter- interesting. I just like talking about free newspapers. Do you remember the MX newspaper? Yes. Yeah. On, the, on the train, yeah. So when you go on the train, if you were to like t- let, take the train home from the city, um, anytime after like four o'clock, I think that that's when they would have people that there issue on them. Yeah. handing out MX newspaper, which yep. is basically... I don't know. What is it? Melbourne, it's, Melbourne. Extreme. Yeah. Is that, is that what Melbourne it says News. Or, I don't know. What it was made by the Herald Sun, wasn't it? That yeah. was the whole thing. So it was yeah. like a little produced newspaper. But you would sit on the train. And you'd have something to read um, yeah. on the train. Yeah. But obviously, this was like a big thing. And then phones came around, and yeah. they were just like, "I don't need to use this newspaper yeah, to have something yeah, to read." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would imagine as well, the trains would be littered in MX newspapers. Yes. Like you'd just be like, have all this waste of this you know free newspaper yeah that was just left everywhere yeah do you remember the section in mx it'd be like at the back and it was people would write in and say like i saw a cute person on the on the 504 yeah, train yeah, and they're yeah, wearing yeah. this this like and love this. letters of the train yeah. and they'd be like you know if you're interested keep an eye out for this person yeah. like type of thing you're like, on the frankston line you're on the frankston this. line you yeah. had a red beanie on yeah. Yeah. you're yeah. assaulting an elderly gentleman <laughs> yeah, right. and you just want to say <laughs> you, <looked> a- <laughs> <laughs> you looked a bit like where's wally with the red beanie and the yeah. white white and red striped top up <laughs> but the reason i bring it up is because once me and my friend we'd write fake ones oh, really? and they'd get in all the time they'd always yeah them. because yeah. how do you vet it yeah you just make up stuff like you're wearing an eye patch and stuff like that <laughs> and just be like let's see if this gets in yeah, some right. of the craziest stuff never got in let's but keep, let's keep describing Tom so yeah, yeah. Tom's reading it he's just like is, is this, is this me? me? <laughs> oh I'm, I'm curious did you, you scrolling keep, through like, TikTok like, if you saw this wear, wear a red beanie yeah. like you make me wear a certain thing if I got into the newspaper or the MX like that I'd keep those Damien did you keep any of them? 
Uh, mm. No, because uh-huh. it was, you know, yeah. just for funsies. <laughs> yeah, well. Have you ever been in like a local newspaper? I feel like I was in like the leader for a Vox Pop when they came to school to be like, what's your opinion on this? And they're like, and you just give like a, a one sentence answer. Do you remember yeah. what they asked you about? Oh, I can't remember, but they took a photo of me as well. So I had like my little head in the in a Vox Pop of like the local leader yeah, newspaper. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was not me, but my my nonna was in the local local paper because she used to work at at the market, like right. the fruit market, yeah, right? Yep. And it was funny because I had all these quotes from her, and it was like very like well well spoken. And yeah. like my nonna speaks broken English. Oh, okay. <laughs> they, they have this is <laughs> a lie. Doctor, this article. They didn't they they really like. They didn't use like a lot of ellipses yeah. and like because <laughs> <laughs> they're like sick. Why does the word, sick. Why does the word like end in like a? Like, <laughs> like a this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I will say like I have this I have this note from my nonno who he left basically he left like a, a letter. For when he passed away, with like a note for everyone in the family, yeah, that's nice. And it was like a letter to me, and it was written exactly as my nono would write. That's and it's it. just like basically it said, "Come visit us at our grave when when we are gone." Aww. But it's like everything is spelt phonetically in like a Croatian dialect, oh, so it's like so good. grave has a J in it. <laughs> so like, don't ask me where where did he put the J? You put it anywhere. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's it's Croatian. Said. But it's like that that sort of stuff is like that's what I remember about getting like birthday cards and stuff like that written by them sometimes mum would write it because it's just like it's easier for mum to write yeah, it yeah. but it's like no I want the authentic no, no, experience. <laughs> because you're reading it in his voice yeah I want to read yeah, it as yeah. he would read it and yeah. it's, it's the best thing so for them to like change it I'm like that's 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 altering art when I read yeah, when I read the article I'm like this is not my no no yeah, right. <laughs> she may look like her but she does not speak like her <laughs> what have you done with her <laughs> I wrote in a complaint I was, I was no, fair, enough. fair enough fair enough that's understandable what about you Marcus what's your like well, your closest brush with fame. It yeah. doesn't have to be in, in written brush word. with fame. You've been on TV? What have you done? No, I've yeah. done have you nothing. Been on TV? I've done nothing with TV. I mean, I've I've watched Friends on TV. Like, I've watched you on TV, Damien. Yeah. I've, uh, oh, when well, I was on Channel 31. I've been on Channel 31 as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. But, never... but I hosted a live show. Oh, time. you did. You did. Okay, sorry. Yeah. What were you on Channel 31? Well, my Year 12 movie was put on Channel 31. <laughs> yeah. And that's fine. Yeah, yeah that's good. There. But granted, my character was wrapped in bandages. <laughs> like, in the face. So hey, while I was... Maybe that's how I made it. Did I? Was I in your no, Year 12 movie? So you were supposed to be that role, I think. Uh... That role was supposed to be you, but you couldn't make it. So it... I'm like. The big boy's got to step up. Yeah, that's I it. do a Kevin Smith. Just like, Tarantino, yeah, just like Tarantino. <laughs> yeah, right. So that's my brush with fame. <laughs> I almost made it. On the a role that was supposed to be for Marcus. Was, yeah, was, I would have loved to watch you on that on that uh, Channel Thirty One show oh, though, because I worked on that too as a camera person. Did you really? Yeah. That same show on the Seventeen Hundred? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I worked as a camera person. No on that. way. Yeah. Imagine if I was like filming you. Yeah. Uh, before all right, guys, you. get in room. All right, that calm down. Yeah, I was working with Tom. I'm just getting jealous. He's yeah, like, yeah. no, no, I'm the glue between you guys. That's how you know each other. You can't know me se- separately. Separately, yeah, no. No, I... Honestly, no, I have no brush with fame. Yeah, I, don't, right. I don't go into anything. I don't, I don't I want mean, the you're public life. You're a podcast this. superstar. You're a podcast this, superstar. This is yeah. my claim to fame. Yeah. You never know. One day you might be sitting in traffic next to someone with their windows down. Yeah. And they're like listening to Hey, the, this the is you. Yeah, right. This is you. Yeah. That, I hope and they're like, hey, this day. is a funny podcast. You're like, I know. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> That'll happen one day. Know, no. uh, one let's, day. Let's jump, let's jump I back. Forgot, I forgot what the question yeah, was. Free newspaper. Oh, God. Free newspaper. We really. Okay. Anyway. Okay. I've never, I will say, going through someone else's Mail is incredibly illegal as yes. well. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like you're not allowed to do. But that. if it's a paper on the on the driveway, oh, yep. Mm. I don't know. I mean, like I'm all. I used to love going through magazines like junk mail. Yep. So whenever anyone had like a no junk mail thing, I'm like, why would you do that? Because yeah. like that's like you go through Christmas lists. You want to see like what video games are coming out. Well, that I to re- me was really really yeah like, same. The I best. used to hi- like circle things. That was and- a junk. That, that was, was actual good mail. That, that's yeah. sort of stuff. Bills. But- pff- no. I, re- <laughs> I remember Tom, you legally need to pay for it. Legally, they circle because they're why, overdue. Why could this guy take the bills? Yeah, he right. has to take the free newspaper. Take the, my the, bills and pay them. So. Yeah. Um, no, I remember when we were younger, Tom. Uh, I think you're about maybe like 18. You had a, you had a license, but yeah. we'd go through all the coupons to yeah. see like all the deals from KFC, Hungry mm-hmm. Jacks. We would decide Red we Rooster. were going to eat based on where the coupons were from. Yeah, yeah exactly. Course. The coupons led our stomachs. Yeah, right. That's like, fair. And I didn't you know, think what? with my heart, my head, or my heart. Yeah, I thought with my wallet. Yeah, yeah exactly. And you know, you think about it. They say a way to the guy's heart is through his stomach. Yeah. Well, you know what? These free coupons. Found their way into our hearts. I think that still translates to now. Like, because I get the coupons in the mail. Yeah. I don't like Domino's. No. Uh, but I get the coupons and sometimes it's like, have 10 pizzas for a dollar. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. like, oh, maybe this is the time <laughs> I, I get Domino's. savings. I don't like the indigestion I feel when I eat. <laughs> it's funny. You eat like one of those slices of 10 pizzas. Like, I regret this. Even yeah, this yeah. one bite is, although granted, 
I like Domino's. I like Pizza Hut. Look, I've said it before. I haven't had Domino's in maybe like five years. So yeah. it, maybe it's changed. I don't know. I, I, I have to say this statement. It's not pizza. It's Domino's. fake pizza. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's Domino's.